now we are doing exercise 2.3 question number one factorize by using factor theorem question number one factorize by using factor theorem roman number four let me write down the question x square minus 6x minus 7 x square minus 6x minus 7 solution so let p of x is equal to x square minus 6 of x minus 7 and factors of the constant term 7 are 7r plus minus 1 it is a prime number so directly plus minus 7 now i can write down like this p now p of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 6 into 1 minus 7 so 1 square is 1 minus 6 on the 6 minus 7 so minus 6 minus 7 so 1 minus 7 6 it is 13 so it is minus 12 okay so x minus 1 is not a factor is not a factor of p of x now let us take p of minus 1 so p of minus 1 will be minus 1 square minus 6 into minus 1 minus 7 so minus 1 square it is plus 1 minus into minus plus 6 on the 6 minus 7 so 6 plus 1 7 7 minus 7 0 so therefore x plus 1 is a factor of p of x so we have got x plus 1 as a factor of p of x we can try with 7 also so we can try either p of 7 or we can divide so let me try so now again p of 7 is equal to so now we are putting instead of x 7 so 7 square minus 6 into 7 minus 7 so 7 square minus 6 into 7 minus 7 so 7 7 is 49 minus 7 6 is 42 minus 7 on the 7 so 49 minus 47 49 okay is equal to 0 so therefore x minus 7 is also a factor of p of x so therefore p of x is equal to x square minus 6 of x plus minus 7 is equal to what are the factors x plus 1 and x minus 7 so x plus 1 into x minus 7 that's all let us do the next question next question roman number 5 we have x square plus 3x x square plus 3x minus 10 solution So let p of x is equal to x square plus 3 of x minus 10 and factors of this constant term 10, 10 r plus minus 1 plus minus 2, 2 we can test, 2 is a factor of 10, 3 not 5, 4 not 5 is a factor and directly 10 okay now so let us try now p of 1 is equal to p of 1 instead of x put 1 plus 3 into 1 minus 10 so 1 plus 3 on the 3 minus 10 which will be 3 4 4 minus 10 minus 6 so we can say x minus 1 is not a factor is not a factor of p of x now let us take p of 2 let us try okay so p of 2 is 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 10 so 2 to the 4 plus 3 to the 6 minus 10 
6 plus 4, 10, 10 minus 10, 10 minus 10, it is 0. So, if, since it is 0, we can say, therefore, x, x, 2 will be minus 2 is a factor, okay. is a factor of p of x. Okay, so what shall we do now? Now, let us divide, let us divide p of x by this factor x minus 2 by x minus 2. Okay, so let us divide this one px is this one x square plus 3x minus 10. So write down x square x square plus 3x minus 10. We are dividing by x minus 2. This one x minus 2. So divide by x minus 2. So x into x it will be x square minus into plus it will be minus 2 into x to x so minus will become plus plus will become minus so 3 4 5 x x cancel so 5 x minus 10 so x into 5 so in x into plus 5 x into 5 it will be 5 x minus into plus minus 5 to z 10 and this one cancel so therefore p of x is equal to x square plus 3 of x minus 10 is equal to take this one x minus 2 x minus 2 multiplied with x plus 5 so that's all let us do the next question the next question is Roman number 6. Roman number 6, we have x cubed minus 3x squared minus 3x squared minus 9x minus 9x. Solution. So here it is cubed. So we will have three factors. Okay. So let us see. So let p of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x square minus 9x where is the constant one minus 9x plus minus 5 minus 9x minus 5 minus 9x minus 5 so factors and the factors of 5 are okay factors of 5 will be plus minus 1 and plus minus 5 so let us try now p of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square minus 9 into 1 minus 5 so 1 cube 1 minus 3 1 the 3 minus 9 1 the 9 minus 5 so 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 18 okay so, therefore, x minus 1 is not a factor, is not a factor of p of x. Again, p of minus 1, let us take minus 1, minus 1 whole cube, minus 3 into minus 1 square, minus 9 into minus 1 minus 5. So minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 minus 3 into 1. It will be minus 3 minus 9 minus into minus plus 9 was a 9 minus 5. Okay. So minus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So minus 9 plus 9, which is 0. Okay. So therefore, so we got P of X as 0. So therefore, x minus 1 right so it, is, it will be plus 1 is a factor of p of x okay now we got x plus 1 as a factor of p of x now what shall we do let us divide x plus 1 okay let us divide x plus 1 to this one or let us find let us do p of 5 now okay 
So P of 5. It will be easy for us. So P of 5. So 5 cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. So 5 cube minus 3 into 5 square minus 9 into 5 and minus 5. So minus 5. So 5 times 25, 25, 5 times 1 to 5 minus 3 into 5 times 25 minus 9, 5 times 45 minus 5. So 1 to 5 minus 35, 3 into 25, it is 75 minus 45 minus 5. Okay. So what can we do is All these are negative numbers, so 1, 2, 5, minus 75, minus 75, 80, 80 plus 4, 5 is 1, 2, 5, so it is 0. So therefore, x minus 5 is also a factor, is also a factor of p of x. Okay. Now, what we need to understand here is that it has q, so it will have three factors. We have three factors, okay, because it is cube, it will have three factors. We got only two factors. We need one more. So now, now x minus 5 into x minus 1, right? We got x minus 1 or x plus 1. Yeah, x minus, no, x plus 1. x plus 1 will be equal to, so you multiply these two factors, x plus x minus 5 and x plus 1, this one. Okay, if you multiply these two factors, you are going to get x into x, it will be x squared, x into 1, it will be plus x, minus 5 into x, it will be minus 5x, and minus 5 into 1, it will be minus 5, and it will be x squared, x minus 5x, it will be minus 4x minus 5. Okay. Now, so, now take this x minus, let us, so let me write down here. Let us now divide p of x by x square minus 4 of x minus 5 by these factors. So, p of x, write down p of x. What is p of x? x square minus 3x square minus 9 of x minus 5. You are going to divide by x square minus 4x minus 5. So, x square minus 4x minus 5. So, dividing we have x square, this is x cube, right? So, x squared into x, it will be x cubed, minus 4x into x, it will be minus 4x squared, minus 5 into x, it will be minus 5x. And if you do subtraction, minus will become plus, minus will become plus, and plus will become minus. So, x cubed, x cubed, cancel. Minus 3 plus 4, it will be x square plus 4x squared, so plus x squared, right? And plus 5, 9 minus 5, it will be minus 4x. Take 5 down, minus 5. So x squared minus 4x minus 5 plus into 1 is called to x squared minus 4x minus 5. And if you subtract, it will be change the sign and it will be 0. So therefore, x plus 1 is also a factor. So, therefore, P of x, which is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9 of x minus 5 is equal to, one factor is x plus 1. Write down. Another factor are x plus 1 and x plus 5. So, write down x plus 1 and x plus 5. So, x plus 1 and x plus 5. So x plus 1 into x plus 1, we can write down x plus 1 whole square into x plus 5. That's all. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.